Welcome to another video, Saturday morning video. Right, so we have here um, a 1989 stroke 90, that's what the year it was made. Um, this is called the BM, obviously a Casio, Casio BM100. The BM stands for barometer. So it's quite a sophisticated and quite a clever watch this. So I'm gonna go into quite in depth of what it does. It's almost a new condition, it's very good condition. So it's a Japan made, and we, we've got the 510 module on here. Right, let's go into it. So <clears throat> this here, so people think this on the front here is a speaker, but it's not. This is the sensor. This is where it measures air quality and stuff like that. So let's go through it. So here at the bottom, we have the time and the seconds. The date above and the date. And here is the graph on this side. Let me get my little trusted pen so I can point. And there's a little graph where it measures up and down here. We've got millibars and we've got up to 2,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1,500 and nothing. So let's go through it. <clears throat> so here we've got the barometer. So barometer is used to measure air pressure so the air pressure is the weight around you and as the air moves it touches everything that's what air pressure is and it's measured by a barometer so at the moment so this is this was yesterday and it saves it and it's got on their memory and at the moment it's a thousand millibars <coughs> Now, millibars is what's used to sh uh, measure the air air pressure. Air pressure is normally in units of millibars. So at the moment, we're a thousand and one millibars. <coughs> As the air drops, the it will drop down below a thousand up to it could go to a hundred. So, so air pressure on a barrel bar is measured between fifty and one thousand and one hundred, I think, or one thousand and fifty. So at the moment, this will measure the air quality, uh, not the quality, the air pressure. And so if it's above a thousand, it will be um, sunny. But if it's below a thousand, you're going to start in cloud, wind and rain. And I'm going to go a bit more in depth in that and I'll show you. So this one here is altimeter. Now, this is yesterday's altimeter. Oh, that's, the, that's actually that's the maximum altimeter by the way is um it's uh, how can i can explain um altimeter is used to measure the distance above sea level so this is this is how far we are above sea level 105 meters and that's the maximum it could be 115. so if you went up in a plane that would just increase or if we went down close to the sea will be that, that would decrease as well um, this next one here is depth meter that's below sea level so we don't want to do that because it's just going to be on zero now it's got let me show you another quickly while we're on that um, barometer stuff so here is the front page and if we click this button here here is a little graph so you see these little points here well, these will move all the time. I think this one measures every three hours or every hour. And it and it will control the air pressure. And you can see here. So if this was if this graph was down here, it'd be very cloudy and it will start or you think it will start to rain. As soon as these graph goes up, the weather becomes sunnier. Is there air quality air, air pressure? That's what that is measuring. Um, so let's click here. It's quite a sophisticated watch. I mean, don't forget this is what thirty-five years old. Uh, what else we got? So there. So we've got alarm. By the way, this has got quite a few alarms. So we've got um, on here. It's got a daily alarm. You can do a monthly alarm. You can do one month alarm. So every month, or 
a specific date. So if you want it, I don't know, 25th of December to go off, it will just keep going off every 25th of December. And I think it's got five alarms as well you can set during the day. What else we got? We got the timer. Nothing amazing there. And we, oh, let's go back to the beginning again. Oh, top watch. Let's stop watch. I think nearly every Casio has got a stopwatch. Uh, let's see what else. Stopwatch, and that's it. And here is your little graph. So, yeah. by the way, if you're buying one of these, just want to tell you quickly. Um, and you change, or you change the battery, the barometer has to reset itself. So, if you press this button here. So when you first change the battery these graphs here won't be here because it takes up to a day for it to measure the atmospheric temperature so these little blocks here these are measured every one to three hours so it will take you almost a day just to get the full graph going here and the same with this here this will move up and down as time goes on depends what, what the temperature is and you can leave it on this screen so if you thought, oh, is it going to be cloudy later? Or is it going to rain? You can just leave this page on and you just look at your graph and it would just determine because the sensor is picking it up. It's pretty smart, isn't it? Um, the last, let's see the light. So let's go back to the beginning. Oh my God. So this is the light. Poopy, but this model is really good condition. I mean, up here, remember I said in the last few videos, if you, if you ever watched them, like you look out for the lines because um, Casio do make quite sharp lines, and you can say this is not hardly ever been used because it's basically nothing's been worn or anything like that at all. It is just how it is, and also just what I tell you. Um, they made different versions of this so there's one that's all green including the buttons I think or there's other ones which are black like this and just the yellow buttons are yellow or black or another version is you see this plate that's here that's screwed down that is all yellow or green so they made quite a few different variations let's have a little look quite a nice one. I like this um, part here that's coming out. It's quite chunky. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. Ding, 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 ding. ding. So I put some gloves on today. I didn't want to mark it. Yeah, it's a good size, isn't it? Should we put it against um, F91? Let's see what it looks like. This one here. That's an F91. Obviously, so it's not massive, it's going to be thicker, most definitely. And these normally came in the grey boxes, the Casio boxes with a little um, black and white module book. Yeah, it's quite a nice watch, isn't it? May I show you this box, by the way? You're going to love this. I keep admiring it. This is from 1981, this box. I don't just start making like this anymore, today. Can anyone guess what watch came in here? Put it in the comments. I'm going to do a video of it soon, so put the comments in quick. Guess you all. Um, yeah. Oh, let me show you something else. <clears throat> um, no, let me show you another day. But I've got loads of Casios coming up. By the way, who likes this? <clears throat> this is Casio Oceanus. It's um, Casio's high end watches. <clears throat> I could do a video on this if you want me to. 
Um, it's quite, very well made, really heavy. You've got a beautiful design in here like on the dial. It's a little scratch here, look. A little scratch. Beautiful design inside here on the dial. All these are metal, but they're in they're separate to the dial. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. It's really heavy, heavy watch. Um, this is the clasp on it, so it bends over like this. That clips in. And it goes like that. To open it, it's open it press the two little buttons and it lifts up it's quite well engineered it's pretty nice feels very heavy feels expensive it's not um, as scratched as it looks by the way this lighting in this office is diabolical yeah do you like this a bit different to what I normally have I just I just had it in my watch box Right, that's it for the moment. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Thanks.